Tonight, we're back in this old camp spot where it was minus seven with a wind chill. Tonight, it's not gonna be nowhere near that, but I'm gonna be trying out something. I'm hoping that I can find enough room here so I can kind of keep continuing to use what I've got. But if not, but I'm gonna make a, well, I've already made it. I'm gonna go find some dead standing limbs, whatever I need just to go ahead and make the baker's tent. attempt to set this thing up um, I may end up because of the daylight time and stuff end up just hanging a hammock up setting it up and finishing it up tomorrow just won't get to sleep in it tonight but I'm gonna try my best to get this thing set up basically it was not hard to build see the sides of it this is one side and then it kind of goes over um, this is set up with one person and I built the construction of the tarps at home the rest of the lumber came from here as you can see there's the inside of the seam um, I didn't mark it off like straight well I did but I mean I didn't I just used a pair of scissors and went right down it and never stopped stayed as close to it as I could if you notice back in the back there's some tape there and I put a stick there there's a reason when I designed the next one instead of doing it the way this one here was done I'm gonna actually come back and pierce that up into an a-frame sort of roof to where it'll go up um, that way the water will shed off of either side and it'll be water can catchers I can put on each side of it if I need be. You can see where I just basically, I put just the same thing as Lonnie did on his. I put stakes in. Um, there's one there. And then I put them in on the inside as well. There it is. In the grommets and those will hold it down for no more weather than what we were getting. If one wanted to do it, 
he could actually get a 24 foot tarp and have a floor already built in. I opted just to go with this here piece of mat just for the test run. Um, I think I may do that if I ever make another one out of tarps. I've got enough good tarps, the heavy duty tarps, to make this out of it. And it may be something that I do instead of going with canvas. All I did was, was taped the seams together. Um, you just, you're cutting at an angle and it goes all the way down. Well, as you can see, my Baker's tin is up. This here is a prototype. I got it from Lonnie at Far North Bushcraft. The idea, I stumbled across it. I've been wanting to make one. I have one out of canvas. It's much smaller. I wanted a two-cot be able to put two in it, but I did not want to go with the traditional A-frame style. What I want to do actually is, is have the front flap um, show some pictures or you'll see some pictures of it and stuff. I want the front flap to be able to close down at night. That way I can go ahead and put in a stove. I'm going to probably put a zipper in on the other one that I do or at least some kind of ties so I can go in and out of one side. For the winter I want to be able to put a stove in it as opposed to chancing it with just a fire. It's what these were made for is build a fire out in front of you. The small one that I have which is canvas it does work well. Um, the only problem with it is, is it is so small you know I want something big enough for Caden and I to go out. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, it's not a tutorial. You can go to Lonnie's channel at Far North Bushcraft. Um, he's got a paper. He did the same thing I did. Got the Montauk Donny Pavolini Outdoors recommended. I like the width of it already, I can tell. I'm on my old Coleman cot. The I plan on being here some tomorrow too, um, a good bit. I don't really have to be at home for anything tomorrow until late in the afternoon. And I really want to get a good feel of this thing and see if it's big enough to do what I want it to do. So it's getting dark, guys. It's about 5, and we got about 40 minutes of daylight left out here in northwest or northeast Georgia, but in the southern part of the state. So, you know, the days are getting a little bit longer, and it won't be long for my camping season will be over. <laughs> I don't like the summertime, but I still go. But it's not as often as I do in the wintertime. So stick around, guys. Watch the next set of series coming up, and I hope you enjoyed this one right here. Have a good day, and hey, I have no catchphrases. <laughs>